But on January 6, for the first time, I was more afraid to work at the Capitol than my entire deployment to Iraq. An emotional and harrowing account today by police officers who described being attacked and beaten when rioters supporting President Trump broke into the Capitol. The testimony launched the first day of the January 6th House Committee hearings investigating the riot. KTV's Janet Katsuyama joining us live tonight with the personal statements and videos those officers shared. Jana. Yes, Alex, today's hearing lasted three hours and both police and some of the members of Congress broke into tears as they were watching that new video of the violent riot. Peaceful transfer of power. In a blue line facing a bipartisan House committee Tuesday, the four officers shared the emotional details and images from their police body camera footage of the violence they experienced trying to defend the U.S. Capitol and members of Congress. The officers said the rioters who broke into the Capitol January 6th were beating, punching, kicking, and pepper spraying U.S. Capitol Police and D.C. Metro Police officers. <laughs> Capitol Police Sergeant Akalino Gonell, an Iraq war veteran, was among the injured. He testified that the rioters said he should be executed. I, too, was being crushed by the rioters. I could feel my, myself losing oxygen and recall thinking to myself, this is how I'm going to die, defending this entrance. D.C. Metro Police Officer Michael Fanone, who told rioters he had kids, said he was shocked with a taser, beaten, and heard the crowd chanting, kill him with his own gun. He had a heart attack and was knocked unconscious. We need your keys now! Mike, stay in there, buddy. I feel like I went to hell and back to protect them and the people in this room. Fanone didn't mince words, criticizing politicians he had tried to protect who have since downplayed the insurrection and rioters. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. Fellow D.C. police officer Daniel Hodges described being crushed between two doors. If that turned into a firefight, we would have lost. I want to thank you for your tremendous courage and uh, stamina and heroism. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn said the rioters shouted racist slurs at black officers. I told them to just leave the Capitol, and in response they yelled, no man, this is our house. President Trump invited us here. We're here to stop the steal. But you guys won. You guys helped. Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger and Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney are the two Republicans on the nine-member committee, a rift in the GOP, which Cheney addressed. Do we hate our political adversaries more than we love our country and revere our Constitution? I pray that that is not the case. Today, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy of Bakersfield held a news conference calling the committee a sham and blasting the two Republican members. The House committee was formed after Senate Republicans rejected plans for an independent commission. All right, Janet Katsuyama reporting live for us tonight. Jenna, thank you.